Hello and welcome. Before I go into the details and into the various topics here, I'm looking to take only a few minutes of your time to give you a little brief on the topics that I have prepared here and how am I going to work on delivering the content. So I only have four points here. First of all, it's going to be a quick and a high level view on the topics of this course. Then a little brief about myself. That's only going to be one slide. Then after that, I'll talk about a little bit about the structure of this course and how am I planning to deliver the content and what I am expecting from you in return while going through the course with me. And finally, some important advice and tips that will help you get started with me on this and to get better results at the end as well. So moving into the course topics. I'm planning to start from the very beginning with you by creating your own G Suite trial account. Then I will move with you to the users and groups and buildings and resources, provisioning and creating your own organizational structure. Then I will take you through the various management tasks for these resources, users, groups, resources and buildings and organizational units as well. Once we're done from the basics, I will move you into the actual applications management topics. We'll cover the main applications, basically the directory, the calendar, the drive and docs, Gmail, groups and hangouts, Google sites, and the other applications that are forming the core application suite of G Suite. Then I'll move you into security, which is a very big thing. <laughs> then device management, which is another big thing. So after those, Two big things will move into reports, which is also a third big thing. <laughs> the reports in G Suite are a great tool to monitor and get insights on how the service is being used in your domain and how your users are interacting with that as well. So I will show you the various categories of reports, such as the insights and the audit reports that's specifically for the admins. And I will end up with the great email log search tool that you will love forever once you see it. Then after the reports, I will take you through a good time of automation and scripting with GAM and app script. I will introduce GAM to you first of all. Then I will show you what awesome stuff you can do with this great tool and resource. After that, I will introduce the concept of data and email migration for you as well through the data migration services, the G Suite migration for Microsoft Exchange and G Suite migration for Microsoft Outlook. These are tools made by Google to help you move your data from one domain to another or from one account to another or even from one service to another. That's if you are migrating from Office 365 or on-prem exchange server or whatever service that you're using. Before the end, I will talk about Google Vault. What is this critical service? How to use it and how not to use it as well plus some additional notes and comments on the various services and how they are integrated with the Google Vault. So these are the topics and sections that I will be covering in this course and in these videos. Hopefully they will help you realize your scenarios and achieve the requirements. And hopefully they will give you a good idea about what are the capabilities and controls that you have in G Suite Admin Console and the other tools that come around when you are managing G Suite domain.